Yeah, so the hips are gonna gonna not be square. Right? Much like remember when we watched Lily, right, lifting the leg, this got shorter, right? So for some of you, this is gonna get shorter. This hip is gonna actually pull up. Does that make sense? Young doesn't necessarily have that, but she might have that in the deeper pokes. No, no, Good, now really try to twist. Go right to your edge. Really try to twist. Good, and we're starting to get a little of this, right? So we need to tell our students. Right? Oh, push this back leg so this stays square. <laughs> right? Now she doesn't have much of this, but some students will. You'll see the shoulder and the hip start to come together like that. You understand? Okay? So the way that you tell them not to do that is to keep this hip back and in. Now look what she's doing. She's naturally compensating the way all of your students will. She's rounding the back. You understand? So one of our cues, and if she went even deeper, bring your elbow down. Yeah. Now twist even more. Now look, so the deeper we get into that twist, the more we start to round the back. Look, so that's why we're telling our student in this, right? We're telling our student, and I would support her if we were adjusting, hip square, and then I would lengthen the hip and the shoulder. Okay, you breathe in? Okay, because the longer that spine gets, the more we get to twist. Push your back leg. Push your back leg. Square your hips. Bend this knee. Okay, come on out. Good work.